Hey guys, welcome. So uh, Pop OS 2204. So today I'm going to be talking about power options. Uh, ways of uh, powering down your machine and or rebooting. Instead of the standard one in the corner down here, I'm going to talk about a couple of more options for you. Two of them will be in your show apps. Two of them will be if you use a start key or have a start key on your keyboard. And then I'll show uh, how to assign one function key or a key on your keyboard to do a quick shutdown. And then I'm going to use the same command actually to write a script file. Very simple script file, only two lines. Welcome folks. 1920 by 1080 is what I'm filming in today. Alt F4 to close the screen. So if you have a start key on your keyboard, some people call it a Windows key, depress it and you'll get this dialog box. You can type in P-O-W-E-R for power and you'll see the power option, control plus two, or the restart or reboot, eh, synonymous word almost, restart or reboot, also the fourth option. So this is using that start key. You can also click the show application menu and start typing P-O-W-E-R and you will get the power key. Now this one here is going to complain that my simple screen recorder is open and recording, which it will, but I'm going to click it nonetheless. If it wasn't running, it would probably start the cycle at 60 seconds to do the power off. I'm going to hit cancel because it's blocking my, my functions here. I'm going to hit no and minimize because I want to continue this video. The other thing you can do is like a reboot, R-E-B. Well, the other name for reboot, right, would be restart. Same deal. Cancel, no, and minimize. So there's four options right there for you. The other thing I can do is actually assign one key on my keyboard to quickly shut down the system instead of uh, you know, answering a bunch of questions. Under settings, or you can go to the top where you normally turn this thing off and hit settings here. Go find yourself the keyboard area of the settings and scroll down to the bottom under view and customize shortcuts. There's lots of shortcuts in here. Today I'm going to talk about custom, how to add a custom shortcut. This key that I assigned, that I assigned is F12. I told it to use the F12 to perform a function of shutdown. And this command I'm about to show you shuts down the machine immediately. It does not care. It does not care if simple screen recorder is open or not, or any other document for that matter. So when I show this command, just be aware that I would advise you to save your documents before performing something like this. This custom menu will be more likely blank. You may have a Wi-Fi. This is something I added. So let me hit the little three guys and show you the, the shortcut. So uh, I know you can probably not read this, so I installed Kate, the text editor. It's just something I prefer to blow up text. And I'm going to highlight what's in the command box and copy it. And then I'm going to actually paste it in Kate so, and then blow it up. So you can see what the actual command for this is. Let me try to get it where it's sort of comfortable. Now let me blow this thing up. Hopefully that's visible now. All right, so what's typed in the command box, and you'll have to hand type this, is systemctl space power off. That's what's in here. That command tells my system to power off immediately. No questions asked. Okay, I'm going to also use this in a script a little bit later in this same video. Okay, system CTL space power off is the command for that. Discard. All right, so how do you create something like this? I'm just going to copy that and hit cancel. You start with the plus key. You give it a name. You can call it power off. Okay, and then hand type that command. System CTL space power off. And then set the shortcut. And then hit add. So I'm going to do the same thing here, and it's going to complain, of course, that F12 is in use. That's okay. I'm just going to use the same key. To replace, yes or no. 
So F12 is already in use for power off because this is a new shortcut. But I think you get the idea. Name, command, shortcut. That's all you need to put in here. And now if I press F12 now on my screen, it doesn't matter if this thing is open or not. It will shut this thing down really quick. Really quick. That's why I gave you all the caution flags. But it's done through here. This will not be created for you. You will have to hand type that in yourself. All right, let's say you wanted to do a script on this thing. Maybe you've seen some of my videos in the past here where I create script for like rsync, for instance, remote sync. I actually have it sitting in here. This is the script for rsync right here. I'll use Kate also for this so I can blow the text up. Maybe you've seen this video on mine. Yeah, this is uh, rsync. So basically, um, I'm focusing on this line right here, the bin bash line. Uh, remote sync is what I used on my other videos and I'm not going to talk about that today. But I wanted to let you see that I actually wrote a script for a different thing. Now this script here, I'll use Kate also for this, so I can blow the text up, only has two lines. Let me blow this one up. So you start with a bin bash statement. What that means is the pound explanation point no space forward slash bin no space forward slash no space bash bin bash. System CTL in blue is, well, when you type it, it will be black, but system CTL space power off is the command. Okay, so power off is the key here. When you perform this command in a script file, it will power down your system. So I'm going to close this. So if you write this in a text editor, I don't care if it's Kate or some other text editor, once you perform this, you need to make the file executable. Right click. Make sure the permissions are set, allowing that to run as a program. In, in most cases, you'll have it like that. That'll give you the option of actually running it as a program. I am not going to click that. It will shut down my video faster than anything. It will not care if Simple Screen Recorder is running and any other files that are open. It will just shut down the machine. So use this very carefully if you're going to use a script or the command assigning it to a keyboard command. So let's do a recap here. We could do it the old fashioned way of shutting down the system. We can now go to our show applications menu. We can type in power. We can type in reboot. There's the power key. Or you could do REB for like reboot. There's the restart key. You can depress that start or windows key on your keyboard if you have one. Do the same thing, power. That's this one which is uh, this in this case is control plus two and then restart is control plus three It's the fourth item and second item is what that refers to this again is the start key so there's some multiple options for you folks thank you for watching take care